Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I am here to discuss the differences between the 1SS on the Camaro and the 2SS on the Camaro. What all the differences are and if you really truly need 2SS on your Camaro. So real quick before we get into the video, thank you to my thumbs up squad for already smashing that thumbs up button. I hugely appreciate it. You guys have been absolutely amazing. If you're new on the channel, thank you so much for smashing that play button and joining us today. And if you could do me a favor and smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded, I'd love to have you a part of the community. All right, let's get going. This is a video that I know a lot of you are gonna appreciate because I'm going to show you what you get with the 2SS and why I ultimately thought it was totally worth it to get the 2SS package over the 1SS. So don't mind all of the dirt that's on this car. I had to drive it in the rain just recently and haven't had time to wash it. But man, this car is just so much fun and it handled so well in the rain. It didn't even bother me at all. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and start with the first thing I wanna point out. So as you can see, there's a little star and a little car next to that star right there on this side mirror and this is the blind spot protection on your Camaro. So if you're next to a car and you don't see it, your mirror actually sees it and that lights up yellow. Another thing about this mirror that's uh, completely different from the 1SS is it is heated. So if you drive your Camaro in the cold weather and there's ice and snow, this thing heats up very quickly and gets rid of that. Number two, as you see, Right there, ooh, that's a big, big splotch of bird poop, yuck. Anyway, number two is that camera mirror right there. So in the 1SS, you do not get that. It is completely just a normal mirror. And I have a lot of people that tell me that they really hate the blind spots in the Camaro. Well, if you hate that, get the 2SS because you get this to help you with that. You get this to help you with that and you will completely change those blind spots to you really don't have blind spots especially if you set your mirrors the way that i have mine set now next come down here and you'll see the backup camera you get that on a 1ss but what you don't get these sensors back here 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 and here and what those sensors do for you is they give you right and left uh, traffic alert when you're backing up and they also give you sonar. So when you're backing up and you're getting close to something, it will beep that you're getting close to something. Also, the right and left traffic alert will beep at you if it sees cars coming to your left or to your right. So those are all of the things on the outside of the car that you're going to get from buying the 2SS package. Now, one thing I forgot to say is the difference in price is about $5,400. So you're gonna have to determine whether everything I'm showing you is worth that extra $5,400. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hop inside. And the first thing you're gonna notice is this beautiful brushed aluminum on the door. That is a 2SS feature that just automatically comes with the car. Also sticking with the door, 
See these memory seat options? This is a 2SS feature that automatically comes with that. And an eight-way adjustable seat is also coming with the 2SS package. And that's for both seats. Not, that's not just driver, that's also passenger. Sticking with the seat, you'll also see that there is heated and ventilated cooled seats. That is also a feature of 2SS. So again, if you're somewhere that's hot, you're gonna want the cooled seat. If you're somewhere that gets cold, you're gonna want the heated seat. You get both options. Also, you get the heated steering wheel. So if you're somewhere that's cold, you are gonna love this heated steering wheel. I have it on my vet and I absolutely love it. Now let's come down here. You also get the dual climate control. That's something that you do not get with the 1SS. Now I'm sure you're gonna say, do you really need dual climate control? Well, with me and my wife, absolutely. Because 99.9% .9 of the time, she wants her climate completely different than mine. And I'm sure you have the same. Even friends of mine get in here and they want their climate completely different. So it's very nice to have that. And if you don't have the 2SS package, you don't get it. All right, I went ahead and started the car up because this is another thing that you're gonna notice that's completely different about the 2SS package. And that is these beautiful lights that are on the door. They're also above the infotainment center. See, that's the passenger side door. And they are also down here in the cup holder. And by the way, you can change these lights to 24 different colors. So I think that's pretty cool as well. All right, next up is the wireless charging port right back there. Now, is that convenient? Not really, it's kind of like the Corvette. Honestly, it's kind of annoying that they put it in such a weird place. You would think that they would put it like maybe up here somewhere. I don't know, maybe even in front of this. It's just in a weird place. It's hard to get to. So is it really worth it? Not really, but it just automatically comes with the 2SS. So I'll take it. And now I'm gonna zoom in to this feature. Look at that beautiful heads up display. And I can change the way that looks. So I can do this where it's just the miles per hour. I can do this where it shows the radio. This shows your compass. And then that just shows your tachometer and miles per hour along with G's. So again, I don't know about you, but I love the heads up display. And to me, that is really, really great. It's the same as in a Corvette. 2LT gets you the heads up display and I wouldn't want it any other way. Now, just a reminder, that is the rear view camera mirror. If I flip this the other way, you're gonna see that that's the view out the back. Not so great. So let's go ahead and flip it back let that focus and there is the beautiful 1080p HD view right out the back and it gives you enormous blind spot protection because it's so wide that you can see really far on the left and the right of you and really helps you know where the cars are and helps eliminate all of the blind spots that a lot of people on my channel leave in the comments. They say, I could not deal with the blind spots of the Camaro, I had to get rid of it. Well, this and the side mirrors and the way you set the side mirrors is very important and it completely eliminates those blind spots. All right, so you know Chevrolet loves bows and they put nine of those bad boys in this car. So because of the 2SS package, you get nine speakers and it does sound really, really crystal clear and beautiful. It's not quite as good as my 14 speakers that I have in my Corvette, but it does sound really, really nice, and I like that feature. Now, I showed you on the door that there's this beautiful brushed aluminum. They also put the aluminum on top of the shifter here, so you do get that with the 2SS package and I think it looks really classy and very nice. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you my remote, and as you can see, there's not an auto start stop on there, but 
if you get the automatic Camaro, it comes with that on the remote and you can remote start your car from, you know, the parking lot. So obviously with a manual, you can't do that, but it is a nice feature, again, with the 2SS package if you buy the automatic. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap this video up. I hope that this has helped you understand more clearly what the differences are between the 1SS package and the 2SS package besides the fact that one is $5,400 less than the other but this helps you understand why you're paying that $5,400. Now here's the thing, if I left out anything that you know of as another difference between the two packages, please leave it in the comments section below. I'd love to know if I left anything out. I don't think I did. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. I hope you are enjoying this Camaro content and I hope that I'm bringing some really great Camaro fans over to the brink of speed community. So I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next upload.